Hello everyone, welcome back to Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Last time we explored some here in this area south of Zora's Domain, found another one of these. And today I thought I would go to some of the places on my backtracking list to get some of the things that I noticed while editing or while playing but missed or didn't get for some reason or another. So first thing on the list, let's go back to Zora's Domain and talk to Yona who was on the screen but we just didn't talk to her. There she is. Oh, come on. Where's the where's the lift when I need it? All right. What's up, girl? Yeah, isn't it cool? Oh, Sir Link, thank you ever so much for your noble efforts. I've been earnestly pondering what I could possibly do to thank you for saving the domain. You could give me the other parts of the armor. However, Giotto found some ancient texts that mention the Zora Greaves. It is said that those who wear them are gifted the power to swim in the water as they please. I'm certain such an item would be invaluable in your quest to locate Princess Zelda. I told Sidon and everyone in the domain that I hope to present this special gift to you. However, the Greaves in question have still not been located. According to the text Giotto found, the Zora Greaves were created long ago. I know, I had them eight years ago. It seems they were offered up at the ancient Zora Waterworks as a prayer for friendship between Zora and Hylians. Upon hearing that, I desperately searched there, but I was unable to locate them. I wonder where in the Waterworks the Zora Greaves were offered. Waterworks? Have we come to... Oh, oh, that's the place. It, it goes on the map. Oh! So maybe these others... Oh, this one is just Sidon. Secret treasure lies below the stony form of its statue. One thing I thought while editing the previous video was that this one might be under the Stonefish Island and the bridge could be the waterfall. So remember, for the Zora, waterfalls are a type of a bridge. Reading this again, I'm not sure. Long bridge that reaches for the statue. That's just where Sidon is though, right? That's where the, the thing is? Hmm. Oh well, we'll figure it out some other time, maybe. Yeah, but for now, let's hop back up there. Alright, here's the waterworks. I think. Where it shows on the map. Or are the waterworks under? They might be in this place. Yeah, okay, Ancient Zora Waterworks. Alright, well, we have a quest that leads us back here, so let's go. Uh, yeah. So I wonder if it's something that's open now, after the temple, or if it was open before. Just check to see if the, there's just a treasure in here. And now it wouldn't be down below us. Because that would be impossible to get now. There's like wooden barrels or something. The water! Oh, uh, well now, is it not you, Link? Let me guess, have you also come here in search of a lovely new diving spot? Yes, of course, how did you know? If so, I have some heartbreaking news to share. This will be tough to bear, but I ask that you stay strong. Yeah. There is no water here, none. Oh, I had hoped to break new ground by diving in amid these solemn ruins. I was positively brimming with excitement. Oh, so the treasure will be near the cave floor, I see. Alas, my joy was short-lived. When I arrived, the water suddenly retreated until I could see the ground beneath. A diver without water is like a bird without sky. It's a sad state of affairs, I assure you. All right, well, I'm so sad. We won't be able to dive into it. Who said we couldn't dive? Well, I think there might be something here. <laughs> I found the water, dude. 
we dive in here two pounds or is this just a nothing it is a nothing there's more water all right more money all right you know there's one thing I wish this game had that Breath of the Wild also didn't have is one-time bosses that you can encounter in the world. I mean, I guess there's like the King Gliok and the, the you know, King Molduga. There are a few that are just like super versions of boss monsters, but nothing that's like, here's something that is as hard as a temple boss that only exists in this one spot on the map. And I think that would be pretty cool. Speaking of bosses... Ow. Gotcha. No, come on. It's gonna be hard to get up. Alright, can I do it? It's a pretty powerful weapon. Yeah! Okay, we'll save that for a rainy day. Even though I know it's raining. Right here, in this cave. Oh, hey! Guess what? Master Sword, Stone Talus Master Sword. Continuing on. I guess we could jump up here for some reason. Let's go around it. Ooh, architecture. And a treasure. It's it's the thing, isn't it? It's the thing. It's the stuff. Yeah! Swim speed up. They're, they're crafted using dragon scales. Which we know are a real thing in this world. Alright, so that was number one off my list. Secondly, we go to Woodland Stable and find the people who want bubble gems. Woodland Stable. The, the bridgemen said there were bubble gem wanters here. What's up? The Dolan Drab Woodland Stable route, or the Red Hot Foothill Stable route. Well, I was finally nodding off. What is it? You want to know what it means to be red hot? A while back, Death Mountain was super active. We're talking full force, non-stop red hot lava. And now the lava's all cooled down and hardened into a new road that's super easily walkable. Mm. Nothing red hot about easily walkable. Now on the other hand, the route going up Death Mountain from Foothill Stable. That's an old dangerous road absolutely crawling with monsters. If you're looking for red hot, that's where to find it. Thing is, my muscles aren't exactly ready to take the heat, so that makes my decision more complicated. Look, it takes sleep to burn so bright, so will you let me recharge for a bit? Sure. How about you? Oh. Hello there. Going by your clothes, I take it you're not a member of the survey team. Ah. You're a traveler, aren't you? Have you by any chance seen anything like a new animal species on your travels? <sighs> oh, guess not then. Uh, I've, I've seen bubble frogs. There's a big rumor spreading in the stable associated with something I think might be a new animal species. Yeah, in the, the Luralane region, which we'll get to pretty soon. Aww. It sounds big and brutal like a bear and kind of tusky like a rhino, but rumors it's not a bear or a rhino. I think it's a lot more than just a rumor there. There's an actual picture of the footprints at one stable. If you see anything like a new animal species in your travelers, please, 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 please let me know. Maybe. I didn't get a quest, so maybe not. Are you 
Land in the sky. What a dear. There's nothing cuter than the sleeping face of my granddaughter. Oh, excuse me. If you would like me to show you around the area, I'd actually wait until morning. This little girl's my granddaughter. She's been fascinated by this guy ever since she was able to lift her head. Since the upheaval, her eyes and her imagination have been fixed on those islands floating up there. Maybe when she grows up, she'll be like those researchers and travel the world, chasing her passions. It's funny. When I dream of her future, I can't help but want to spend time with her now. Totally understandable. What's up? You want bubble gems? Kenny, you're back. I was waiting and waiting and just shut my eyes for a moment. Oh, I'm sorry. You're definitely not my boyfriend. Yeah, and, and you're definitely not my girlfriend. So we're, we're fine there. Mm. My boyfriend went to buy some of the fire-resistant clothes sold in Goron City, but he hasn't come back. I want part. I went part of the way with him, but some Gorons with strange-looking rocks started bothering us. Got scared and came back on my own. Luckily, I hear Goron City's completely safe again. There shouldn't be anything else keeping him away, but he still hasn't come back. I wonder what in the world he's doing. Okay, Woodland Stable. There should be people who want bubble gems. Oh. There's a mushroom person coming this way and another mushroom person coming this way. What happens if they cross paths? <gasps> Never mind. I'm not waiting for that. I see something important. Oh no, it's daytime though. Is is it gonna leave? We haven't seen Kilton at all this playthrough. Now he just pops up. Middle of nowhere. Gotta get there before the sun. What's up, dude? What is that? A fake monster. Oh, it's it's him. You there, traveler? Do you have business in this cave by any chance? I'm sorry to say, but right now it's... Big brother! Are you two the ones who want bubble gem? There's, there's another Kilton. Colton! It's no use! Colton! Please, it's impossible, absurd even to try to turn yourself into a legendary creature. That's a story, no less absurd. You should be working on the monster collection with me instead of chasing a silly dream like that. I would never give up, Kilton. I've always wanted to be a Satori. I will be a Satori. I do not care what it takes. All I need to do is get my fingers on a bubble gem. I'm sure I'll turn into a Satori. <laughs> the rumors are true. There is a creature in the cave called a bubble frog. And it glows just like a Satori. <laughs> uh, um, what? I didn't think it would be up so high on the wall or run about all nimbly bimbly like that. <laughs> in that case, little brother, why not get someone to help you catch a bubble frog? Yes, yes. Do you remember all that treasure you collected? You could offer that in trade. What's up? I might have one or two. Traveler, did you hear me, my Nissan talking? If I'm going to make my dream come true, I must get my fingers on a bubble gem. Ah, but the bubble frog is so very nimbly bimbly and hard to catch. <laughs> you are to hear about my dream. <gasps> Well, it's simple, really. I dream of becoming a Satori. You know, the creature of myth. Satori are legendary creatures that have been spotted all over Hyrule. Your sing eyes, bluish white fur. Ooh, how I've admired them since I was a wee Colton. <laughs> and then I read these ancient texts and they told me how to transform myself. Transform me, Colton, into a Satori. 
Hurry to work, I must find a bullfrog, a strange creature that loves dark caves and glows bluish white like a Zatori. Then I have to collect a bubble gem, which is a bubble that bubble frogs drop when they're feeling weak. That's why I chased after the bubble frog lurking in the cave. I wanted to get my fingers on that gem. But who knew a bubble frog could gamble around like that so nimbly bimbly? I want to be a story. I will be a story. I'll do whatever it takes. Dude, you should probably calm down and go about this more rationally. Just, it, you only hurt yourself if you get so indulgent in your emotions like that. I'm sorry. <laughs> my lad, this is my wish and my dream and my reason for doing such things. So if you get hold of a baba jam, please give it to me. I'll give you a treasure trade, I swear. Here you go. <laughs> That's a Pepper Gem! Colton, is it the real thing? <coughs> that perfect shape, the faint blue glow. <laughs> it's a real Bubble Gem, real as can be! <coughs> you did it, now I can transform into a Satori just like the ones I adore! Thank you so very much, please take this gifty in return. Okie dokie. See, I collect all sorts of monsters' treasures. That is, monster parts and goods that make you look like a monster. <laughs> the mask I gave you was made to look just like a book goblin. So much that even my book goblin will take you for one. Ow, the muscles in my throat. By all means, do try it on. Then you will see what it's like to have the body and the heart of a book goblin. At last, at last, the time has come. Time to gobble down the bow gem. Cheers and bottoms up. Hey, <coughs> <coughs> my buddy, it isn't changing. But, but, I do feel a strange sensation washing over me. It can only mean one thing. I'm on my way to becoming a Satori, and that means more! More! And I can't just gobble them up one at a time. No, that will never work. I must collect lots and lots and eat them all at once. To do that... Kilton, big brother, I've decided to set on a journey to collect bubble gems. I see. Well, as it comes, you've made up your mind. That being the case, you have my complete support. I hope you collect as many bubble gems as you need. Ah. Onisan, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Traveler, I'm grateful for your help, but I've decided to set on a journey to collect bubble gems. Next time... You get your fingers on the Papa Gem, please, please do give it to me. If you do, I'll trade you a gifty for my collection of treasures for it. And with that, I hope we meet again sometime, somewhere. Oh no, you're gonna leave. I have a bunch more to trade you. Hmm. Dang it. Well, this... Huh. This would have been nice to to find earlier. Off he goes. I do hope he's able to make his dream come true. Hmm. Now, I have to be on my way as well. I'll be making the journey to Terrytown in Akala. But, dear traveler, thank you so much for helping my daughter san And though I hate to impose, I do hope that during our travels you'll find time to assist him further. <laughs> I will keep my ears wide open for news of my brother's whereabouts. So visit me in Terrytown if you need help finding him. Yes, yes, I'll be going now. Bye. Okay. So we gotta find him somewhere else. Alright, well let's go into this cave and find the one that he couldn't get. Peek upon cave. There it is. 
Learn to fire a bow, dude. We have so many of these. I wonder how many you need to get all of the rewards. Okay, next, we're back at the Elden Great Skeleton because I saw something in editing that episode that I totally walked past. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, so I had hole in ground south of Mountain Tower. So I thought that might be this hole. And I was like, wait, no, that's just above the Yiga place. And then I was like, oh, hey, look, a thing. Yeah. Alright, so that's probably that thing checked off the list. I do not remember why I put it there, so maybe that was it. Yeah, made it this time. Hey girl, look what I found. Oh, Sir Link. Huh? Just a moment. What is that upon your feet? those be the Zora Greaves? What? Wow! So a large hole opened up within the waterworks during the wa draining the water? And the Zora Greaves were at the bottom of that big hole? Extraordinary! <sighs> After all that my Sidon has told me, I can safely say it is so like you to go find them on your own, Sir Link. May they prove useful to you during your noble travels. The Zora Greaves are the symbol of the friendship between Zora and Hylians. As such is a most fitting gift for you, for your truly an irreplaceable friend to all the Zora of the domain. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Speaking of irreplaceable friends, whenever my dear Sidon opens his mouth, chances are it's to speak of you, Sir Link. Oh. I'll say things like, Link is the best. And also, no task is insurmountable when I am with Link. I feel a bit silly telling you this, but after all that has transpired, I truly understand how he came to feel that way. Sir Link, thank you so very much. That he has found a true companion in you makes me as happy as it does him. Zora's domain will always be with you now and forevermore. Consider that a fervent promise. Please do not be a stranger, dearest friend of the domain. Ah, uh, this simply will not do. I forgot to tell you. I asked Roma and Kira to try to find some way to assist you, Sir Link. They're now investigating something additional to Zora Greaves, the Zora Helm. This is what I thought would happen when we come back. Yes, yes. I am certain that the Helm will also prove useful to you in your journey, Sir Link. I hope you will speak with them about it. All right. Do we have enough for another heart? Yes. All right. We're closing in on getting all the things. Is it you? The lecturing never stops. In summation, and to repeat myself as an attendant of Queen Yona, it is paramount to demonstrate more self-awareness. At all times and in all, every circumstance, you must behave in a way that is in no danger of reflecting poorly on her. <laughs> yes, yes, I'm ever reflecting on that. In indeed, your words ring true. Uh, oh, Sir Link! <laughs> oh, Sir Link, wherever are my manners? I was not quick to notice you had graced us with your presence. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> Perhaps that's because you were so absorbed in lecturing me. Honestly, and the reason for that is your lack of progress in the task you've been trusted with. The Zora Helm we are to present to Sir Link to, to be stored in a skyfish. Mm -hmm. Queen Yona kindly provided you with that helpful information, yet you've done nothing with it. <laughs> yes, that's so. I desperately searched the river for a fish that ate the Zora Helm, but I returned empty-handed. Uh -huh. Pure silliness. It is unlikely that the Zora Helm was placed in an actual fish's stomach. I suspect you should be thinking of the skyfish as a metaphor leading to the place where the helm is hidden. <clears throat> you never listen closely to my guidance, which often results in these ridiculous misunderstandings. <laughs> you two need to be separated in life. Someone needs a restraining order. 
Help me, Sir Link. I will help you. Understood, Chroma. Queen Yona is originally... Just clarification. Yeah, I, we know where that is. That is up here. Uh, here. And there is a short way there by the waterfall. So for this one, I can think of two possible fishes. One is, where did it go? One is that it's under the sky fish. The other is that it's the great fish of Zoro's domain. Both of them have bridges. The sky fish has a waterfall. Zoro's domain just has a long bridge. So I don't know why I didn't say that. I don't know why I didn't seize onto that thought, but yeah, we could go back to the domain and go to the end of the bridge. That's the welcome bridge. For now, let's get this Zora Helm. Look for a way in. Like maybe down here. Can we see anything? Hmm. I see nothing. Uh, let's try to not fall down. Well, maybe we can see something from a side. Now, I don't see a way in. I mean, this kind of looks like a door, but not really. All right, I have set treasure chest to my sensor. So it's, it is registering something. Yeah. It is, there is a treasure chest right below us right here. Huh. So we have to find a way to get into Maybe we could walk around like this, see if there's anything to lift. Okay, now it's up. So yeah, we know where it is. Right up there, we just have to find a way inside. This lowered platform seems suspicious. Definitely seems like it should be from here. If that's not a bombable wall, is it? No. I mean, we could try doing this again. Yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, there we go. Wow. Just gotta find the one spot on the edge where there's an opening. Alright, let's turn this back off. Zorhelm! Yeah! Oh, Yona's gone. What's up, girls? I found the thing. Uh... Zora Helm previously used in battle was damaged behind, beyond repair. That means the information Queen Yona found is the only key we have to repaying our immense debt to Sir Link. Oh, it is you, Sir Link. Is there something we can help you with? <laughs> Ooh, wait a moment. Oh, Sir Link. That thing upon your head, is that not the Zora Helm? Yeah. Oh. To think it was hidden on a fish-shaped island floating in the sky. And I am the best at communicating with single syllables. <laughs> so, the Zora Helm was up in the sky, meaning it was impossible for us to find it from the start. Thanks to you, Sir Link, our goal was achieved. Same as though we had retrieved the helm for yourselves. Perhaps this means Kira's lengthy lectures will finally come to an end. No! I love lecturing you! This was intended to be our opportunity to honor Sir Link for his contributions. Instead, we caused trouble for him. 
We have so much to be sorry for, and yet there it is. That inexplicable smirk on your face. Seems it yet again falls on me to instruct you in proper conduct for an attendant. Listen carefully. <laughs> no! No, it cannot be. I was so sure the lectures would finally end. <laughs> Enough tomfoolery, I will not allow it. You must listen to me. I have such low self-esteem that I cannot live with myself if I don't have somebody to yell at. Alright, we got all the pieces of the Zora set. The head is very floppy. I don't remember it being this floppy in Breath of the Wild. Alright, now this is a giant stone fish. And we're gonna go to the end of the bridge that leads to it. Oh, hey, another side quest. Hmm, a floating place. I'm sure that is what I heard, but... Link, how wonderful. You, you heard me talking to myself, didn't you? Since you're here, I must ask you something a bit odd. Have you heard anything about a floating place? I, a, a lot of floating places, actually. Which one are you thinking of? Here's my tale. When my dear wife, May, went out fishing, she was singing this mysterious song to herself. Mm -hmm. I found a floating place where I'll catch a fish with grace. I hop and skip to a great fishing trip. And with that, my wife hopped and skipped over to the bridge in east of the domain. At the time, I paid it no heed. She is given to songs of fancy. But her absence has started to weigh heavily on my mind. Oh? A floating place, a hop and skip away. I've never heard of such a place. Oh. My wife is the type to rush off in a fit of excitement. I'm worried she will do something rash. Oh, oh my beloved May. I dearly hope that she has not gone somewhere dangerous. Alright, you said east. That is on... Oh, this way. Okay. East, something floating to the east. I mean, could be floating on water. There are other tablets we could look at. One there, and I see one down, down there. So the end of the bridge, under the end of the bridge, right? Oh, not the end of the bridge. A secret treasure awaits just beneath the stony statue, below the long bridge that reaches for it. Leave your fears behind. Pass beneath two waterfalls. Okay, so we're on the wrong end of the bridge. Oh, I don't didn't realize Zora's Domain has a giant waterfall over here. Okay, so this might be the starting point. Leave your fears behind. Link doesn't have any fears. Pass beneath two waterfalls. Well, here's two waterfalls. All right, where's my pride? Give me my pride. Was it you? Were you the prize? I feel like I still have not solved the riddle. I have not found the correct interpretation. All right, so we're gonna put that one on the other burner for now. Oh, it's Geoglyph. Eh. So the one last thing, actually there are a couple more things on my list, but one that I am interested in right now is there is a, there was a bottle here that we found in a previous episode and we did not find where it's leading us. So I wanna try to do that now. Also, apparently, we haven't been in this cave the Bloopy was headed toward. Oh! Surprise, Korok! Doolin, get out of the way, I can't see. Alright. Cavern time. Yeah, this is a cavern. Like, does this count as a cavern? There's so many C words. Chasm, canyon, cavern, 
cave. Yes, a bomb. I need more bombs. What's up, dudes? You a meat at me? I want it. Where'd it go? I have a stone talus master sword. You just hit your friend. Now you hit my shield. You guys have just bad luck hitting my shield. Ow. That's bad luck for me. Apparently fell down the crack. And then climbed back up again. Alright, you did. Seems like the talus heart broke off my sword. Nope, there it is. Just an amber from a rare rock? That's crazy. Now that I look at them, these all have feet. I never noticed that before. Well, that's cool. Ice keys. Thanks, Tulin. Thanks again. Is there another exit over here? Ice like. Just there, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah. Also bombs. If there are bombs, I'll take them. Trine? Something fiery to the tongue. Didn't work very well. That's a bad weapon. There we go. No. Thanks for the water. One of you in the comments said that you actually use the water a lot. Um. I I have trouble seeing where the water would be useful, but. For now, just let me see if I can figure it out. 38 is pretty good. All right, does it does it melt thing? I cannot tell. I think the answer is no. What's that? What's in there? A Korok block? No, it's a treasure chest. Right from here. Nope, it doesn't melt ice. But Chris, it's not hot. Did you think it would melt ice? It does in real life. What's that? Oh, it's one of you. Bye. Ooh, icicle caves. Neat. I bet we're going under Mount Lanaru. That's why it's cold. And yeah, probably Zora armor is not the not the greatest for this region. There we go. Well, I guess we are going for a shrine. Yeah, I just guess I just didn't realize the shrine was here. Yeah, of course it is. There's a light route. Surprise shrine! Jikai's! Jailbreak. What do we have? There's a slidey block. With nothing underneath. 
So I start. Oh. Never mind. I want to put it over here so I can jump to it. Can I get that one from down here? Nah, too high. Ah, here's how I get up. Alright, now I can stand here and I can get this one over. And can get up. Alright, there is something here. There's nothing there. I mean, by something here, I mean I can use it to get up high. I'm breaking free the jail by going over the wall. I guess that's what jailbreak meant. And no treasure down here, I think. I think it's just another cubby. There's a treasure. Easy treasure. Magic staff. Which I don't want. Is that the only treasure? It was. Cool. Alright, I see. Oh. Well, you want me to hang it over the edge like this, right? Then stand there. And it's gotta be like this. Knowledge of physics. I could walk here and go up right under it. But no! I'm smarter than that! I'm gonna put it right here, completely off the edge. You think, how? How can I get it to stay there? Well, the way is like this. I have a special time power. Yay, I'm so cool. This time it's frozen, I can make it fall down into the void. Oh, hey, a prison to break out of. Whoops. Okay. Shouldn't have been so hasty. Alright. What is there right here? Okay, I see. Well. They they intended it this time. They intended it. Thank you, me. Alright, now it is time. I didn't intend to come back on this mountain yet, but here we are. It's distraction the game. Now it's time to go back to the shore and see if we can find that spot where the guy left Bright Bloom seeds as a trail. For a moment I thought, am I going to want sand boots? But no, it seems fine. You a moss pebbit? No, you're just normal. Yeah, there's that box. It seems to be moving quite fast. Is that a cork? Um, nope, it's a Lizalfos. Okay, I see. The bright bloom seeds are definitely moving. Oh, hey, look, a cork. Alright, this has never failed me. Actually, it's failed me once, but only once. Go! Open him up! Yeah! Bye-bye. What? How did that Octorok die? <laughs> How? Why is there a log floating that way? There's current! I see. 
the strong current. This might be the place where the guy is trapped. But actually, I'm going to use this again. Come right back here because there's actually something else that I want to do that I forgot about. Great fairy, I have doth return. All right, let's level up this Zora stuff because we're going to the water. Oh, here it is. The first time we see this one. All right, that's everything. Back to the coast we go. All right, now you'd think it'd be difficult to get in there. However, we can climb. <laughs> wow. Barely climbed through that. Mapla Point Cave. And I can't fall in the water yet because there's still a heavy current. I wonder if there's another entrance. That would make sense. I was like, yeah, I mean, I guess we could build a raft with like rockets on it or lots of fans. Get up the current. But, I mean, why do that when you can just climb the wall? All right, there's a fishing boat. The person who got trapped, I suppose. Party truffle. The boulder right here, treasure. <laughs> oh yeah. So the person is not here. But it does seem like this is probably where they are. Yeah, the bright bloom. Armored Porgy. Wait. Like, I took a picture of the wrong one? <laughs> There's two fishes. Do I want to risk? Yes, I do. Gotcha! Gotcha! Bum! I was gonna bring it to me, but this is probably faster. Alright, there is a way to go. There we go. What up, dude? It, it can't be. Guess what? I'm just gonna take all the stuff first. Then I'll rescue you. Huh? Oh, whoa! Who are you? You know what? I don't care. If you're here, then I'm saved. Uh, I've been stuck in here for ages. Did you find my message in a bottle and come to rescue me? Yeah, like uh, 30 episodes ago. It really worked. I knew it was a long shot, but it was worth it. After what went down in Luralane Village, I couldn't exactly refresh my stock of fish, so I went out to try to catch my own. That's when a storm kicked up. I tried to shelter in this cave, but got shut in. Aww. Yeah, things were pretty bad for a while, but look at me now. That bottle really turned things around. If this lucky streak keeps up, it's gonna bode well for business. Oh. Here, this is for you. I picked it up off the ground here in the cave. That sounded better in my head. It's a nice reward. Honest, I was planning to take it home with me once I got out. Well, if it's money, then sure. I really owe you. A little reward's the least I can do. Mm. All right, I'm out of here. If our paths ever do cross again, you could buy some fish off me. <laughs> oh, this isn't the time to play the peddler, huh? Anyway, thanks again, and so long. Alright, we finally accomplished that side quest. And uh, now we're going to hop out of the sea here. 
And I think I've been playing long enough. I probably cut out a lot of it, so this might be a shorter one. But maybe not. We don't know till we know. Uh, did I just... <laughs> oh, what luck. Oh, that was fun. And then that was fun too. And hey, look, a dragon. That's the one we already got. Okay, so that will be it for this episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Next time, we will go along this coastline and we will fight some pirates down south. If we get there before the episode's over. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. Tears of the Kingdom, and other awesome games. I'll see you next time! Bye!